All right. This is going to be my last story time for the day. And um, I'll I'll come back with another story time. Maybe tomorrow if I remember to post it. But um, story time number three. So I was a teenager. Let me think exactly how old I was because I, me and my friend was working at Burger King. I had already worked McDonald's. I want to, and I was, ooh, I want to say I was about 18, 17 or 18. Um, when this happened, um, me and my friend were walking from Burger King. And this guy approached us. It was around 10 o'clock at night. And this guy approached us and was like, hey, to, and he was talking to my friend. He was like, yo, what's up? You look good or whatever. Um, can I take you out to eat? And I looked at my friend. She was like, oh, yes, yeah, no problem, whatever. Like, those weren't her words, but that's, you know, she was like, oh, you know, whatever. Ready to go with the guy. So, and I'm, I'm like, yo, um... It's 10 o'clock at night. What what man is really trying to approach you at this time of the night? Like, so she was like, no, it, it's it's all good, whatever, whatever. I'm like, no, it's not. Now, small backstory or short backstory. I always had a rule um, of mine and I tried to share it with my friends that um, um, I didn't take numbers or any gestures from men between certain hours so like because I used to be outside all the time um my I, I used to um I used to um say don't take a phone number from somebody um before eight o'clock in the morning and after 10 p.m don't don't um allow or, or don't engage with 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 someone to try to you know whatever whatever um because it's like those are creep hours to me and that was my opinion and I was much younger and so when this guy approached me and my friend with the with with the um the gesture of taking her out to eat this is back in the 90s so restaurants and weren't really open that late like at that time they would have already been closing or maybe will be open for maybe another hour but they weren't they wouldn't be taking any new client any new customers in so i'm like i'm like nah i'm like yo you can't go i'm like she can't go with you she was like no no i want to go i want to go he was like let her go she old enough i'm like no she's not old enough to to make that decision on her own i'm like me and her walking together how you going to just take my friend somewhere and i'm supposed to just let you take her so he was like so you want to go too? I'm like, well, I'm like, so I said to my friend, I'm like, you want to go? She's like, yeah, I want to go. I want to go out to eat. I'm like, well, you're going to have to take both of us. So he was like, I, right. did I mention that we were in Queens? Oh, okay. We were in Queens and Laurelton, between Laurelton and Springfield, because the, the Burger King is on Springfield and Merrick, and that's the one that we were, well, I worked there. We, we both had worked there at the time, and we were walking back from there. I'm not sure we were actually working there yet. I don't remember, but either way, um, so he drives us, we get in the car. I always carried a knife on me. So I said to the guy, when we got in the car, she sat in the front seat with him and I sat in the back, um, behind him. And I said to him, actually, I didn't say I showed and said, I'm like, you see this knife, you try anything with, with her or me, I'm going to stab you. I'm like, I'm going to literally kill you just so you know. So he was like, I'm not on that type of time, whatever, whatever. I'm like, all right. So we get in the car. He drives down Springfield Boulevard near to near past Springfield High School, turns on the conduit. So this is past two, um, IS 231. I don't know what it's called now. It might still be 231, but whatever. Take us to the McDonald's in Rosedale on, on the conduit. I'm like, what kind of dinner is this? Talking about he want to take us out to dinner. He want to stop at McDonald's. So anyway, um, we go to McDonald's. We, he orders some food or whatever. Um, he didn't get anything for himself. He then proceeds to drive us into Rosedale, like the, the 250-something streets. Um, 
I, I want to say actually specifically was 253rd Street. And the only reason why I remember it is because years later, my cousin had moved across the street from the location. And I'm like, damn, this, this location looks so familiar. Where is this? I'm like, oh, yeah, this is the place where the guy. Anyway, I could finish telling you the story. So, um, so we park up by this school I'm, um, on, on 253rd Street. Um, can't remember the exact avenue right now, but we parked up over there and he was like, so y'all want to get out the car? I'm like, okay. So we get out and he gets out the car with us and he sits on the, on the, on the bench near the school with us. And he's talking, he was like, yo, you know, he trying to, he rubbing my friend down and all of that stuff. And he was like, why don't you get back in the car with me? I want to take you somewhere. So she was like, yeah, that's cool. We could go, we could go or whatever. Like he's sweet talking, huh, huh, and everything. And I was like, I looked at her, I'm like, you're not going nowhere. I'm like, do you know your mother would literally kill me if I let you go somewhere with some strange man and something happened to you? So the guy looked at me real irritated and he was like, all right, I'm going to be back. Don't you know he left us stranded in Roselle and we ain't know where we was going? We ate our McDonald's. <laughs> How old were we? <laughs> so stupid. Anyway, we ate our food. And, um, me and her sat there for like maybe 20 minutes waiting for him to come back and he never came back. So she was like, how are we going to get back? I'm like, I don't know. She's like, do you know where we at? I'm like, no. So we end up just started walking. Now, had I known where we were today, like had I, if I know, I knew where we were now, we would have walked a completely different way because we walked all the way around because i'm like we are in rosedale i know that for sure we need to make it to town and then we can make it i know what where, where to go from there now back then there was no gps no cell phones like that with no no internet service or anything like that and so we just walked until we figured it out and we found our way here we are today all right that was story time number three bye <laughs>